Hi, my name's uh, Dr. Peter Landsberg. I'm a rheumatologist at Arthritis Care in Brisbane. I'm just going to talk to you briefly about a condition called ankylosing spondylitis, which is one of the conditions rheumatologists uh, are very effective in treating. A ankylosing spondylitis is, a, is a, an autoimmune disorder, where, more common in men than women, but, but relatively common. It affects up to one in every 100, one in every 200 people. It's a condition of inflammation of joints, ligaments, and particularly the spine. Often the first symptom is just terrible pain around the lower back and in the buttocks. Often in young men, it gradually creeps up the back and people become very stiff and sore without treatment. It can cause also swelling of the joints, um, and so it's not uncommon to have someone with a sore back and a swollen knee or a swollen ankle. It can also affect ligaments, so again, you'll see young men with a sore back, a sore knee, and a very painful Achilles tendon. The morning stiffness is overwhelming and often the reason people first come to see us. Um, it, it doesn't show up on x-rays for quite a long time and so the, the diagnosis is really based on this intense set of symptoms and signs. Blood tests can show high levels of inflammation and that makes the doctor very suspicious. Uh, the examination is often very dramatic and young men who should normally be able to touch the toes quite easily can often just barely get their hands down to their knees. They may have a sore chest, a sore neck, sore joints, sore ligaments, painful tendons. The pain does respond very well to anti-inflammatory, so often patients will say, I've got this terrible back doc, but if I take some ibuprofen I feel much better. And that's actually very suggestive of ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, other things like just a normal sore back or a, a torn muscle or a bulging disc won't respond to anti-inflammatory, so it's one situation where the response to a drug can almost make the diagnosis. It's, it's, caused, it's caused by having genes that make us respond badly to simple bacteria passing through our gut. We can test for some of those genes, but again, blood tests are awkward. The, the gene that's seen in ankylosing spondylitis is seen very commonly in healthy, normal people. So just having the gene does not mean you'll get ankylosing spondylitis. I often see patients with back pain. The doctor's done a gene test. The gene test is positive, but they don't have ankylosing spondylitis. So you can't rely on the gene test to make a diagnosis. But we think this, it's an interesting condition where having a certain group of genes will make us respond badly to certain bowel bacteria that the immune cells caught up in that leave the bowel and end up in our back, our ligaments, our joints and then go and have a very nasty party. It's a very chronic condition. Um, treatment is largely exercise and stretches and very, very effective medication. So now we switch off the disease with, with medication and we really get people to run or walk or bike, ride a bike half an hour a day and do stretches and yoga every day. Exercise stops people becoming stiff. In, early in the disease we can use MRI scans to pick up the disease even before we can see on x-rays. If a person's had the condition for many years on the x-rays you can see little areas of calcification forming in the spine and that, that's the thing we're trying to avoid with early diagnosis and treatment. Once upon a time it was an awful disease. When I was a young doctor any but person with ankylosing spondylitis will often end up very stooped over and, and really often have to go on a pension. Now we have young men with ankylosing spondylitis playing rugby, playing football, playing cricket. Many famous people have ankylosing spondylitis and um, with treatment are back playing professional golf and professional cricket. So in 20 years we've gone from a disease that put people on the pension to uh, an inconvenience uh, once it's diagnosed and treated well. So it's in, imperative if a person has low back pain, terrible stiffness, um, the, the, your, your doctor should think of this disease and send you along for an assessment.